Hold on to your hats, it's Dalton Family Reunion time. Don't worry, at least this year, they're not all wearing matching t-shirts. The sketch covers balancing chemical equations using stoichiometry. Uh, let's go ahead and get started before Aunt Marge inundates us again with way too much info about Mr. Waffle's IBD. Huh. Every chemical reaction has the same basic format. Reactants are listed on the left side of the equation, while products are listed on the right. So, uh, this red tablecloth on the left symbolizes reactants, while the purple one on the right symbolizes products. The theme for this year's reunion is forming new bonds, because during a chemical reaction, bonds between atoms are broken and reformed, which changes the structure of molecules. Even though lots of new bonds are formed during reactions, matter cannot be created or destroyed, which means the atoms themselves must stay the same. All of the atoms on one side of the equation must show up on the other side. Their quantities and identities cannot change. Those two angsty twins balancing perfectly on the seesaw are a reminder of this atom balancing act. Keeping our equations as balanced as the twins comes down to keeping track of subscripts and coefficients. Let's look at the balanced equation for cellular respiration as an example. The subscripts in a formula tell you how many atoms of each element are in that molecule. Since the unique combination of subscripts defines a molecule, subscripts never change. H2O, for example, always has two hydrogen atoms. Otherwise, it wouldn't be water. Coefficients are the numbers in front of the molecules. They tell you how many copies of each molecule are needed in order to carry out the reaction. Kind of like a recipe. In the balanced equation for cellular respiration, every one molecule of glucose that is combined with six molecules of oxygen gives you six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. Unlike subscripts, coefficients can be manipulated in order to balance things out. And once you have a balanced equation, you can make all kinds of other calculations, like determining percent yields or limiting reagents. 